Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here. As you can see, I've been a busy monkey. I completely redid my studio. It was time. It had been a year since I really changed anything. I had painted the walls blue, I eventually got the shelves, put all my favorite little knick-knacky things on it, and I even decorated for Halloween. Yes, today's Halloween. I took my decorations down early, but you know, I got other shit to do. So yesterday, I took the time to go through redo the entire area, clean everything, fix the damage in the walls and everything from the way I had it before, and here we are. On top of the problems that I had when I started filming this video yesterday were the lights went out, then today the footage was pulsing, and the audio sounded like shit, and I had to switch a bunch of stuff around. So what I've done now, last night I charged all four aperture lights, the other two, my left fill light and my product light are plugged in with constant power so i don't have to worry about those i will not be putting power to the ones behind me though because i'm not drilling through these shelves i'm not running cable and trying to make it look nice and neat so that you can't see it i'm just not doing that so those are going to be used via the battery which should last a good long time before i have to charge them and that's fine then today because the audio sounded like shit also, I realized, and here was the problem with that stupid original Sennheiser MK400E, I didn't turn it off last night, so the damn thing was on all night, and I, I was done with that. So, long story short, I removed the Sennheiser MKE400, went back to the trusty old Movo VXR10, took it from the Ninja's audio, and put it back into the A7C's mic jack. That way, I'm going right into the camera. Also, I played around with the audio recording levels and eventually decided that it was a lot louder than it looked on the meters on the Ninja, so I had to back that down. Basically, I've been filming all, all morning. I mean, this is ridiculous. And then I was pissed because I thought that when I took it to F8 and I could see on the Ninja that everything was in focus, then as I was watching it, I realized it's still freaking pulsing. So I decided, you know what, screw it. I'm just sitting here. Nothing's moving. The camera's not moving. I'm not moving. So I'm just going to do manual focus when I'm sitting here in the studio. That being said, it's also nice out. I want to go for a walk in the woods and just relax because this has been a lot of work over the past two days. Everything is moving smoothly. Now that I've got the new setup going on here, which is very clean, very minimal, I'm gonna run with that for a while. That way I can actually keep this stuff clean and it isn't all dusty and gross. I also, because I have shifted basically 45 degrees and now I'm not shooting at a catty corner angle, I have gotten a lot more floor space back in my studio office and that is cool. Everything is nice and compact. I'm here in the corner. The window is right there, but it isn't really in my way. So if I want to add another angle, I'll be coming from over here and I won't get the window in or any of the junk over there. I'll just get the shelves and me. As far as the MacBook Air M1, still loving it. I have been working on that whole flow of getting the software on there the way that I want it, getting the hardware. That's the big thing. I got a lot of stuff coming in over the next couple of months that I've been researching that I bought, you know, just to try to make things easier for me. As that all comes in, I'll be not necessarily doing unboxings, but I'll be letting you know what I'm using and how it all works. Now, I did have somebody ask me about that MacBook Air M1 and, and giving a, a, like a student overview. And I said, well, given that I'm not a student, I don't know what I, what do you even mean? And they said, just, you know, using it from day to day, what's the battery life, what's the portability, you know, how's it work on everyday tasks? And my reply was, well, I, again, I'm not a student, but if I can use it to edit 4K multicam videos and it works without a hiccup, I can't imagine as a student you're going to have much of a problem. Now, yesterday, I unplugged it and then I started doing all this stuff. So I basically unplugged it, opened up Chrome, and there's multiple tabs open on that, plus two different instances of it because I do different shit on the two instances. I had like, iMessage open, and I had Discord open, and I was also editing in Final Cut Pro. All that while it was unplugged. And I did everything. This was over several hours. And by the time I was done editing, rendering, which only took three minutes for the 10 minute video, and uploaded it to YouTube and did all that shit, by the time I was done, I was down to 40% power. So I don't think that's too bad that I was able to do all that stuff all day 
unplugged, no hiccups whatsoever, and everything was perfect, and still had 40% battery life left. That's about as much as I can offer you as far as a student goes. I did what I do every day, and I did it without it being plugged in, and I had tons of battery life, no hiccups, everything worked smoothly, so I think you're good to go. All that said, that's it, I'm done. I just need to relax before I start my office day and laundry and all that shit at the end of the day. So that's all I've got for you. Let me know what you think about the new studio layout on, on what's been going on with me and my gear and all that kind of stuff. If you have any comments, suggestions, questions, leave them down in the comment section below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember kids, forward and up.